Hi everyone, it's Muriel. Hey, I really wanted to get this video done a lot sooner, but um, I'm going to be so busy tomorrow and Monday I'm not going to be able to, but I wanted to show a quick collective haul and two projects that I um, <coughs> have been working on. So, because of the time, mm-hmm, and a lot of other things have been going on, so uh, this is falling under the category of Miss Cooper's Coop After Dark. So, um, recently, you know, on my trip to North Carolina, I purchased some of these straws from the Expo. And I had seen how they were used. Unfortunately, I didn't take any pictures um, how they were used, but I remembered in my head. So um, I pulled these out because I'm going to um, give these to a friend. But I wanted to show you what I did do with the ones um, that I saw. So if you can just um, pretend for a minute. I just took a box that I had in my craft room. I couldn't find any birthday paper. This is the closest I could find. The box is not, it's just a makeshift box just to show you so you can see the paper's not even all the way down. And But anyway, um, the, the straws were used like this. They were kind of crisscross on the box and they added a sense of decor to the uh, wrapping. So I just took some of that frilly ribbon, you know, that curly ribbon, and then um, one of my um, handmade um, Gatsby flowers that I attempt to make from, um, uh, not a tutorial, but um, Bonnie had made some. So I kind of YouTube Gatsby flower and looked at how several people made them and came up with one myself. So this one is really light and, you know, it kind of falls, kind of drapes, so it was perfect to cover up the straws. And basically I just kind of, you know, hot glued one to the box this way and then the other two, so they almost look like chopsticks, but I thought they were so cute for decor. So that's one of the ways that I will be using these. Uh, someone in one of my videos made a comment, said, I want to see the project. So this is exactly why I bought them. This is how I, how I would be uh, using them. I think it would look really cute um, on a smaller box, maybe with some of the Heidi Swap sugar sheet paper because she has those animal prints, she has those greens, those pinks, and something about polka dots just um, kind of um, really looks good together. So that was one of the ideas that I um, came up with. And then I watched a video by um, Nurse Tara 04, and she was working on some um, some uh, arty cake charms herself, you know, looking at them and really studying them. And uh, she did some, she showed us some yesterday, and they were absolutely adorable. So I uh, went to the store. And because I didn't have any nuts and bolts and things like that in my possession, and purchased some, and you know what those are. Um, where are they? So basically, you know, you know, a nut, a screw like, and I purchased like 99 cents. I got about six of them, and I covered them with some of the bling. And you've seen this on the um, Artie cakes. It's just like a large rondelle. So this is the one I created. Again, these are the washers. And this is the bling trim that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And it's black and it is so cute. And then this one here I'll show you because I purchased this bling trim today. It's just white. Uh, and believe it or not, it's a little stretchy. And I have it secured on with some of my favorite adhesive, the Score Pal. This is the really, really thin one because um, hot glue just doesn't work. So go over and look at her channel. I mean, she, I want to, um, I'm going to send her a personal message and tell her the story about me with these um, nuts that I purchased from the grocery store today. So um, I was out and about, and I went to Tuesday morning, Joann's, and Hobby Lobby. So in no random order, let me just show you. I, I think this is from Joann. Um, I picked up this purple burlap trim. I was on clearance. Um, said 4.99, but it was in a dollar thing. So I got some of those. I want to. In my mind, I have a card that I want to have this at the bottom of the card gathered, like a Halloween card. So I picked up that. Um, these are some beautiful beads that I got from 
Joanne's. Um, Hot Tango is the color, so it has some greens and oranges and browns and, you know, that chestnut acorn look about it for the fall. And then this one is aquatic um, for the beach or the water or um, the pool. So these are um, those types of colors. And then I just picked up a pack of these um, dome studs from Seven Gypsies. Uh, Joanne had a sale you know, 50% off, so these were three something, so I thought I'd get some. I like to cover up a lot of things that require um, brads that I don't want to use brads. I just want to cover the whole, and these work perfect. So back to Joanne, here are some charms that I purchased. This is a crab holding the, um, the bead. Yeah, and then there is um, uh, these four here. There's the turtle, the sea lion, the dolphin, and the whale. And uh, Tuesday morning had these beads. Um, they were $2.99 a pack. It's kind of hard to describe the color, but there's some mauve, some purple, some black. Uh, just a combination as well as this one here. They had a lot of different shapes and sizes, so it, it intrigued me, so I picked up those. So now I have all these beads to work with. And um, Joann's, let's see, yes, Joann's had some Tim Holtz items. I don't know if this is new, but it's his tinsel twine. So on one pack it was all black, and I, it looks like this because I um, split it with someone. And then the other pack it had these three colors, the orange, purple, and this like a blood red. And again, I had opened it and split it with someone, so that's why they look like this, but it is the tinsel. And um, Hobby Lobby had this ribbon here. I haven't seen this before, but I'm dying to make some uh, flowers with it. It just has this these petals, these oval-shaped petals, so it should make for a cute um, shabby chic flower. I picked that up, and then um, some more beads from Joanne. These were on the clearance wall, and then I picked up a punch. You know, the um, it just says large punch. I don't know what shape that is, but you can see it there. Excited about that. Oh, and here they are. Here's those nuts that I purchased from the grocery store. So. Um, back to Joanne's, here are some Brenda Walton, um, these are kind of Halloween um, messages with different shapes, I thought they'd be cute. I have a project in mind for some uh, bottles with candy and I thought these would be perfect. These are chalkboard, uh, chalkboard surface, so looks like those words were written with uh, chalkboard, with chalk. And then uh, the two paper sacks I picked up at um, Hobby Lobby was the Prima Lifetime and then the Heidi Swap Sugar Chic. I had this in 12 by 12 but this was in 6 by 6 so I thought it was pretty cool. And their paper pads were 50% off. And then uh, back to Tuesday morning, here is some tissue paper. Tuesday morning has this thing now where pink label, green label, purple label, label all represents different percentages off. So this was regularly 99 cents and I got it for uh, 59. It was 20 or either 30% off. And it's always good to have tissue paper, especially when you're sending out racks like I am. And then I picked up this from Tim Holtz, which I'm going to look up because it's the ruler binding and it's new so it has these um, two rulers and you see the uh, holes here for these screws and then these wing things and then these washers so I'm curious to see how he used those on projects since I have lots of cigar boxes this may come in handy and then um, I picked up two of these these are the Tim Holtz um, Holidays Pass uh, paper stack. I think it's it's from 2012, so you may have may have seen it, but I thought it would make a good mini album. Uh, the pages are double sided, and you know Tim Holtz papers. He has always has a sheet of um, borders. Let me see here, and then they there's uh, six by six squares, and then there is twelve by twelve. Uh, uh, four by six squares and then they even get smaller. Okay, this doesn't want to open up for me, but I'm sure you've seen it because it's been around for a year now. So um, they were four ninety nine, so I picked up two so I could share with a friend. And then lastly, when I made this, um, uh, the white one here of the, um, like a rondelle, 
I got this trim from something I picked up at Hobby Lo um, at Tuesday morning. This is a fashion strap, so this is what you would use uh, like on a dress, so it would look really cute. So I just bought one because I didn't want to get it in, weren't able to use it, but that's what it looks like, and you can see it's kind of stretchy. So um, I thought it'd be cool to wrap around that uh, nut to create the um, Artie Cake look-alike charm. So um, they came out really cute. Uh, Tara, if you are watching the video, you can see that I was uh, inspired by you to make these, and um, and I just used my uh, excuse me, my bling trim from Hobby Lobby, which I saw today. They had it in several colors, but it wasn't on sale, so I didn't get it. But this will be fine. So I just cut off a piece and again use my score pal tape and uh, put them on and they look really cool. Once I put them on a charm, I'm dying to see uh, how they'll look and I'll be coming back to show you girls and guys. So that's my collective haul for the night. And to the person who asked about the box, I hope you are watching my uh, After Dark because uh, that's how I plan on using these cute straws that I purchased at the Expo. And um, I think I've seen these before I went to the Expo. I think they were pretty popular uh, earlier this summer, like in May, in the springtime. I think I saw a lot of videos of people using straws, but um, that's how I plan to use them here. So thanks again, and thanks for watching uh, Miss Cooper's Coop After Dark. We'll talk soon. Bye now.